today it takes five or six Marines to get somebody wounded off the battlefield. With something like this, you could do it with one. And that keeps more Marines in the We are testing out the LS3. It's a robotic mule. It's real easy to control, real easy to understand. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun. You can pretty much teach anybody in the military to use it. Uh, with the machine to see where what its limits are and, and where where it makes most sense for it to be uh, when the squad is on patrol. Experimentation phase is in, in full swing right now. Then we'll come back and we'll look at all the data. We'll get the feedback from all the Marines on how they feel uh, it can support them best. And then we'll look at what it needs to look like, what right looks like at the end of the day for a, uh, a legged support system that's autonomous. We ultimately wanted to support Marines in the field. We ultimately wanted to get some of the load off their backs. This is, it has four legs, eyes, and a body built to carry with the ability to go wherever men can. The legged squad support system is the new solution for overburdened troops who carry nearly 100 pounds of survival and protection gear in the field. Dismount squads like to move under cover and concealment. They do not want to move on roads. That tells you right away that if you're going to have a robotic platform, it must be able to go over logs, through streams. The Commandant of the Marine Corps, General James Amos, and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Director Arati Prabhakar saw a demonstration of the system at Joint Base Meyer-Henderson Hall, Virginia, and learned about the 24-month initiative designed to refine and enhance the program. Now that you've got a capable platform, it's now taking the sensors, making them much more uh, effective. They're already effective, but taking it to a new level so that not only it can perceive the world around it better, but it can interact with the Marines better. So that's what you're going to see over the next 24 months is how do you uh, make it more effective in the hands of those Marines uh, out in the field. Once complete, this beast of burden can take the load off troops, allowing them to focus on their mission. So everything we do, we endeavor to lighten the load, but where LS3 is particularly effective in that regard is the fact that it takes equipment directly off that Marine's back, whether it be you know, mortar base plates, uh, whether it be ammunition, uh, spare ammunition, whether it be packs, uh, a lot of different areas. Corporal Christopher Baines, reporting from Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia.